And you've probably heard of the term catfish. It refers to a scammer who pretends to be someone else on the Internet. Now, it can happen anywhere from social media to dating sites. And one local man knows all too well now how anyone can become an unsuspecting victim. Our Nikhila Pradier spoke with him today. and She joins us now with his story. Nikhila. Well, Lee Scott Humple is a well-known name here in Corpus Christi. He owns several physical therapy centers, and his family has also been in the public eye for both tragedy and triumph. And Humple's prominence has now taken a bizarre turn. For many people, the catfish phenomenon is something they only see on TV. But for Scott Humple, it's real life. Probably about seven years ago, I first started getting messages. He says it's been at least that long since scammers have been using his photos to bilk money out of vulnerable victims. One lady a couple of years ago contacted me. I think she was from the Atlanta area and she claimed that she got scammed out of like $60,000. And these messages come in from all over the world. Okay, she's from Scotland. Saying they're talking to a man claiming to be him, some using his name. I started school at the University of Texas in Arlington on Monday. Hmm, I'm back in college. And others even using some difficult parts of his life story. Back in 2012, the Humple family was in a plane crash in Colorado. Scott's wife, Gabby, passed away. Less than a year later, their son, Tad, died. You know, it just, you, you know, it, it reminds me of those tragedies. Even with his own losses, Humple is also sympathetic to the other victims in these scams. Some of the older women that have uh, had tragedies themselves, especially lost a husband, they're very vulnerable to this scam. Still, he does what he can to help. Humple regularly checks his messenger inbox and responds to the women who say they were duped. But in the end, he believes it's just a tough life lesson for them. You have to learn that, you know, you don't, you don't send money and don't get into uh, a lot of chatting with somebody you've never met. And he's accepted that this is his new normal. Since it's been successful for them to use my photos, they're not going to ever stop. Now, Humple also tells us that he doesn't personally know of an instance when one of these scammers using his photos was caught. However, we are following a tip on one of these scams in another state, and we'll bring you the update just as soon as we receive new information.